Now we're going to put the new metal to one side for a moment and look at some second-hand heroes. Affordable cars for petrol heads on a budget. This time round, it's hot hatches. A hot hatch is all about taking a normal hatchback and ramming a bunch of chilies up its exhaust to make it a performance machine. And these are some of the ultimate hot hatches that you can now buy for only two and a half thousand pounds. For starters, I've got a car that redlines at a screaming 8,000 RPM and carries a badge with serious kudos. The EP3 Civic Type R. Revs, revs, revs. That's what makes this car so special. It's got a 197 brake horsepower, two litre VTEC engine that loves to rev. It'll go on to 146 miles an hour. But what makes it so involving is that the gear stick is up here on the dashboard. So it's like you're sort of stirring the most manic of whisks. The steering is so quick and the throttle response is like lightning. So it is an incredibly exciting car to drive. That plus you've got Honda's excellent reliability and build quality. So all in all, this Civic is a fantastic car. While the Civic does have a good reputation, here are some checks to get the best possible example on your drive. When you're out on a test drive, check that the steering self-centres itself properly when you come out of a corner. Because if it doesn't do that, it could mean that there's a steering rack failure and that could cost £1,500 to replace. Listen out for any engine misfires or any lights up on the dash. This could be a timing chain problem that will cost £600 to repair. The Civic offers exciting and reliable daily driving, but up the budget a bit and you could get something properly leery. The Alfa Romeo 147 GTA from £5,000. The 147 is a great example of the hot hatch power formula. Alfa took its smallest model and rammed in a whopping great big engine, a 3.2 litre V6 247 brake horsepower and it makes the most glorious noise. A real purring pussycat sound. I love this brown leather <laughs> interior. It's got some wonderful dials in front of you and it is just typically alpha. It just makes you feel as if you're in quite an expensive upmarket car. In the dash to 60 miles an hour this takes six seconds which is faster than the Civic by 0.8 of a second. Also, this will go over 150 miles an hour. The 147 still looks and sounds fantastic, but it wouldn't be an authentic Alpha without its share of problems to look out for. A clutch should last about 50,000 miles, so if you feel one that's slipping or that's particularly heavy, then you could find yourself with about £700 slipping out of your pocket. As with all small car, big engine combinations, access is tight, so the cam belt interval is one to look out for, as it's a labour-intensive £600. If you hear any mechanical knocking when you're going over bumps, then it could mean that the lower wishbone ball joints are on their way out, and they cost just over £200 each to replace. Finally, if you desire ultimate attitude and rarity and have around £15,000 to spend, then we have something very special to finish with. The Renault Sport Clio V6. This is a hot hatch that thinks it's more of a supercar. Instead of a back seat, it's got an engine. It's got a 255 horsepower V6, so it is mid-engined and rear-wheel drive. This particular car has done just 300 miles, so it's almost like it's brand new. And it feels fantastic, it really does. You've got some comfort there, but also you've got a whole heap of sportiness. The steering is quite light, perhaps because there's so much weight in the back, slightly tipping the car up, but it is sort of fingertip stuff on the steering. 
It sounds as if you've left the boot open because all you can hear is the engine. I could drive this all day. Delish. It's the quickest of our trio, taking 5.8 seconds to hit 60. The ride quality is the best that I've driven today, and it's the most sure-footed of the three cars. It really just sort of squats down and gives me great confidence. Outside, it looks pretty spectacular, thanks to those massive great big hips. But inside, I don't feel very special looking forward. I might as well be in a 1.2. The Clio V6 is without doubt set to be a future classic, so to make sure you spend wisely, there are a few things to look out for. Most of the V6's body panels are bespoke, and that means expensive. The side intake pods cost £700. Prang a bumper and you'll be looking at £1,400. That's if you can find one. Finally, you have to change the cam belt every five years. That's an engine out job, so it's worth replacing the water pump while you're at it. Budget a cool £1,000 for the pleasure. This car may not be a supercar, but it definitely is a super car. The secret to buying a Clio V6 and the other hot hatches featured today is do your homework. Get it wrong and it will be a money pit. Get it right and you'll be the owner of a second-hand hero.